Front-end Development, episode 6. Hello, recruitment community. Welcome to episode 6. Today we are going to talk about front end development. We have talked uh, in the past about how a computer works and circuits and logic and binary and back end development. And today we are going to talk about front end development. So, front end development is referred as the client side. I know that you remember this. Remember everything that you see, that you experiment with, that you touch, that you interact, it's the front end in any application or web. So, front-end web development is the practice of converting data to graphical interfaces for users to view and interact with data through digital interaction using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Again, everything that you see, you touch and interact with. So let's think in an application. This encapsulates everything that you're actually interacting with. It could be menus, buttons, drop-downs, everything and the responsive nature of things. Now let's put a hypothetical situation. Let's say you want to build one website, but you just possess one front-end engineer, no back-ends involved. If this will happen, you will be working on a static website. This means all of this data is contained using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It doesn't move, it's static. The three basic languages of front-end development are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. JavaScript was created by Brendan Ake in just 10 days. Did you know that? Now, let's deep dive on each one of those. HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. What's that? Basically, it's a super hard way of saying information. CSS, on the other side, means cascade style sheets. That what the name says is actually what it does. It cascades all the styles on the different layouts of the web or app. This means your response times, your layouts, that awesome button that you want to click and see what happens. Now the third one, that is JavaScript. JavaScript is the one in charge of making everything work. All the functions, making the yeses, the noes, and everything happen inside. Also, it builds a lot of cool stuff. So let me give you a really cool analogy. Think of a book. I don't know, the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit, right? So within the book, you have all the information, that's HTML. Then how this information is put, I don't know, the, the layers and the images and so on, that's CSS. And finally, JavaScript is the one responsible to taking you to Middle Earth, to meet Frodo and the folks. So which may be the responsibilities of a front-end developer? Some of the responsibilities of the front-end engineers are actually related to the user experience. So how this user is having a visual experience, how the layouts are, are out there, the interactivity of the design, uh, the responsiveness of this design, bug testing to see that everything is working right, browser testing to see if this is also working in another devices, tooling, and many other cool stuff. Guys, I hope I have been clear. I know that I'm not the best techie in the world, but I'm trying to do my best to add this little grain of sand to the world and to help you understand a little bit more about front-end. So nothing, I leave you and see you in the next episode. Bye! <laughs>